Hi everyone, Matt and Michelle here from the future. What future you might ask? Well, think of Vietnam and stay tuned on our videos to find out more. So much has happened. So much. Anyway, just to give a quick, when we first decided to go on this trip, one of the first things we looked at was how do we get to the PP Islands? And how do we get back from the PP Islands? And what options are there? And it was two big options, ferry or speedboat. And we were like, well, which one's better? So we decided to go onto YouTube, as you do, to try to find out which one was better. And guess what? There was loads of fake videos with clickbait, trying to, and we clicked on them and ended up watching all these videos to find out that they weren't even doing a speedboat versus ferry. It was just they did a speedboat. So, or they did a ferry. Or they did a ferry. And to be fair, we did get some really good insights into what we had to do. Like, you'll see later, having to pay on the island, stuff like that. We did get those insights from that video. Uh, or those videos. I'm not going to say who we watched from those videos. But overall, there wasn't this type of video out there. So we decided at that stage, we were going to book the speedboat and the ferry. And we were going to compare the two. So it took this, us a long time to decide which one we were going to do which way, but we knew yeah. we were going to do both of them. So that is the reason for this video. We hope it's worth it. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We arrived at Razida Pier for our half nine speedboat. We decided to go with Kanicha Tour as they were the best rate on 12 go. The total cost for both of us was about 1400 Thai baht or 37 euro which wasn't extremely expensive, but it was a lot more expensive than the ferry. The speedboat itself was advertised to take 50 minutes overall. So we started boarding a half nine on the button and we were handed these boarding cards to get through the gates. As you can see, Matt almost missed his. It did seem pretty pointless since we were handed them from the staff and then had to hand them back to the staff in order for them to scan us through the gates. So why we had the boarding passes in the first place, I really don't know. So here we are in the pier and the boat was just a short walk away from the gate. I know I look really unhappy but I was excited. I just got an unfortunate case of light food poisoning that morning so as you can imagine I was a little bit apprehensive about the effect that the speedboat and the lovely waves may have on my sick tummy. Overall, the speedboat was much like you would expect. It sat about 30 people. Um, there was some outdoor seating at the front of the boat, but they were off limits for some reason. There was a number of people who did try to go out to the front. We were one of them, but they were swiftly told to move back inside that those seats were not for passengers. Overall, with the way the seats were facing and the fact that we couldn't sit outside, it did make the journey overall quite boring. We couldn't see any views, we didn't get to enjoy coming up to the PP Islands. It was also made a lot more boring about the fact that we couldn't speak to each other because the speedboat was so loud. Although, I think Matt might have secretly been delighted with that break. Matt did try to get some footage here, but it was a bit awkward having to stand on tiptoes to see out the window. Getting off the boat was pretty quick and painless, particularly because we didn't have any luggage. We decided to just pack a light backpack, given that they do specify in their terms and conditions that you can bring 20 kg of luggage on board as long as they have room for it, which isn't very reassuring. As we got to the Tonsai Pier on PP Island, we were met with employees of the island and were told that we had to pay 20 Thai baht uh, as an island charge for cleaning the island. We were aware of this charge before arriving, so we were well prepared, but we did see a lot of other tourists caught off guard. Overall, the speedboat did take longer than advertised and we arrived around an hour and 10 minutes later as opposed to the 50 minutes advertised. Finishing off our trip to the PP Islands, we were back to Tonsai Pier to board our two hour ferry back to Rosada Pier. We booked the ferry with Andaman Wavemaster who were the best rated on 12 go for the 11 a.m. to give us a bit of time to sleep in. When we got to the pier, it was a little bit hectic trying to find where to check in as it wasn't well signposted. 
Once we found it, we queued for a few minutes and were given a yellow sticker and sent to board the ferry. Here's Michelle getting on the ferry, looking like one of the golden girls, her words, not mine. Our next video will explain why that is. The ferry was pretty busy by the time we got on board and we had to find seats downstairs. This is us just checking that there really aren't any seats up here and saying, yep, it looks like we are going to have to go downstairs. But you knew that was coming. So on the ferry you can buy different classes of seats. We went for the basic second class seats with all the other peasants, but you can also book first class and premium seats which gives you access to a lounge with more comfortable seats and better views. These seats may have looked familiar, you guessed it, they were literally repurposed car seats. An interesting yet comfortable choice. There's plenty of, of available seats downstairs and it was nice and cool which we were extremely grateful for. But I left Michelle to explore the ferry and to get Michelle something from the shop. That's right, there's a shop on board. There's an abundance of outdoor space, as you can see here, and you can soak up the sun and the amazing island views. But there's also areas of shade if you need a break from the UV. I returned to my seat where Michelle shared some news. There were some unexpected guests on the ferry. Cockroaches. I have to admit, getting off the ferry wasn't quite as smooth as the speedboat. The, de the ferry definitely catered more to people with luggage and there were tons of bags to be collected on the way to disembark. Overall, it took a lot longer than I expected, especially given we didn't have any of this luggage to collect. This is basically where all of the bags were just stored. So plenty of space and if we were using it, this would have been great, but it did mean that there was this big congestion. When we eventually did get off the ferry, we were once again handed some boarding cards. And once again, these seemed almost pointless as we pretty much immediately handed them back to the same staff for them to scan us through the gates. In the end, the ferry took us two hours and cost 1100 Thai baht, or roughly 28 euro for both of us. Emotion! Yeah, oh my god. Sorry, I look terrible because I haven't really slept either, has not But that's what's so far. But, um, yeah, I definitely shop on board. That's a win for a cheap shop to go. Um, comfy seats, windows look out, you can come off around, and you can go to an indoor area as well if you want yeah. to catch some suns too. Yeah, and, and there's a, a, a part with shade as well for those of us who are on the. 
it's us again from the future. <laughs> We're back. We went nowhere. So, looking back on it, because it's been a little bit of time now since we did the speedboat and the ferry. Yeah. Looking back on it, is the verdict the same? Yes, it's definitely the same. Yeah. The speedboat was so boring and I wanted to do it. So, the fact that I'm giving that criticism was... Because I was like, it's faster, it's going to be so much better, and we'll be there quicker. And we weren't even. We are obviously there quicker, but we're still delayed. I feel a fair disclaimer would be, if we were able to go out the front, things may have been very different. Mm. But, you know, I feel like you're not guaranteed that. I almost feel like they were reserving that for luggage, which is good to know that maybe they would let you put luggage there. But, I mean, it was very boring. And it felt longer. That's a weird thing. It was yeah. shorter, but it felt longer because you didn't know what was going on. Where just that very small change of being able to see where you were, what was going on, made a big difference. So I would still go ferry is a better option unless you are really pressed for time and that I'm going to say half hour difference, which it was a little bit more, but you know, I'd I'm afraid say of cockroaches. I would not suggest well, you get no. on that. I don't like cockroaches. I managed. So. Yeah, but if you really don't like them. It, it probably it would make you uncomfortable. Anyway, we'll just leave it with saying. We were aware that we were very sunburnt. Obviously, we're not anymore. Magic. But we were very sunburnt at the end. Stay tuned next week when you're going to find out why. Fairy wins!